Hello everyone, today I'm gonna talk about the story of Pedro Serrano, the real castaway who survived almost 20 years in a sandbank in the Caribbean. Pedro Serrano was a Spanish captain who in 1526 survived, along with another companion, the wreck of a Spanish vessel on a sandbar in the Caribbean Sea, now called Banco Serrana in his honor. It seems that in 1526, a strong storm surprised a Spanish vessel that was sailing from Habana to Cartagena de Indias, with the entire crew perishing in the sinking, with the exception of the ship's captain, Pedro Serrano, who managed to reach a desert bank of sand with hardly any vegetation and without fresh water sources. What followed the shipwreck was a real odyssey, since the sailor had to eat mainly birds and fish, and very often drink the blood of sea turtles as a supplement to the rainwater that he could collect from time to time. When he had lived on the sandbar for three years, he was visited by another survivor of another shipwreck who had come ashore in a small boat. Pedro Serrano and his new companion were totally isolated, in the deepest loneliness for the next eight years. The bank was not even on the charts then. As the bank was devoid of any shelter, the two castaways built a small tower made of rocks and corals during their long odyssey, which, in addition to being a refugee from the prevailing winds, served them to make smoke signals from the fire they lit from time to time with the wrecks that were reaching the beach. Today, the survival capacity of these two men seems incredible, they never gave up. Finally, in 1534, the crew of a galleon that was going to Habana from Cartagena de Indias saw the smoke signals that the castaways made from their sandbar. They sent a boat to help them and took them to the galleon. Sadly, Serrano's companion in misfortunes of eight years passed away shortly after boarding the galleon. He didn't even get to sea land after he was rescued. Fate was very different for Pedro Serrano, who managed to return to Spain to start a new life that gave him fame and money and made him a famous character not only in the Spanish court but also in the rest of Europe, due to the many trips that he had made to narrate his adventures in meetings of high society. Before passing away, Pedro Serrano recorded the hardships suffered in the company of the other castaway in documents that show the endless anguish and suffering upon reading them, the product of the most absolute abandonment to his fate. His story is today in the General Archive of the Indies, in Spain. The sandbar on which Pedro Serrano and his companion leave their misfortune has remained relatively unchanged to this day. It was occupied by the US Marines during the conflict with Cuba. It seems that during the 1990s, some American adventurers visiting Banco Serrana located the rock tower that the Spanish castaway had built, as well as the remains of many of the tools used by them for their survival. They also search for treasures, although there are logically no allusions to any treasure in Serrano's story.